for our communities. We're ready to make our voices heard. We're ready to stand up and fight together for justice, and not just for today, tomorrow, but next week, and for years into the future. That's what the labor movement is here for. This is what makes our state and our country strong. People from all walks of life, from all sectors of the economy coming together to fight for economic justice, to fight for economic opportunity, to fight for better wages and working conditions, to fight for a strong middle class and a better day. That's what we're doing here, right? So I asked our elected officials at the Capitol, what do they have against fair wages? What do they have against access to health care and retirement security? And what do they have against Wisconsinites seeking dignity and respect for themselves? So here we go again, huh? I'm Mayor Mitchell, I'm the president of the Professional Firefighters of Wisconsin, also local president of your firefighters right here in Madison, Firefighters Local 311. Martin Luther King said, your life begins to end when you stop caring about things that matter. And that's so true, isn't it? We live in a time where decent American values are being trumped by corporate and political interests. We live in a time where a lot of bad politicians are being put in office by good people who don't vote. We live in a time where the wealthy want the pity of the minority along with the power of the majority. We live in a time where a governor can say that our state is broke, that we need shared sacrifice, and everybody has to pitch in a little. Right now, shared sacrifice seems like we sacrifice, and they share the wealth. But right now, brothers and sisters, they are trying to eliminate our voice. So we realize that there are strength in numbers. So it is time for us, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us, brothers and sisters, to stop believing this senseless rhetoric about shared sacrifice and our state is broke, and start working for what our members have earned in the past. Because if you believe about shared sacrifice and that our state is broke, as a wise man once said, a wise man once said you've been hoodwinked, you've been bamboozled, you've been led astray, you've been run amok, you've been duped, you've been misled. We have to work hard for what our people have earned in the past. It is time to start educating our members, not just servicing our members as unions. we got to mobilize, galvanize, and educate our young members and bring the young members to these rallies because this is really about their future, right? And it is time to say that I'm a proud union member. Don't hide it from the fact that you are a union member. Unions help build this country. Are you a proud union member? Are you proud to be part of a union? So am I. We need to fight for jobs. We need to have an unshakable spirit. An unshakable spirit to fight for good jobs, good public education, help for the poor, and make sure our middle class is still strong in this state. We have to keep fighting because you cannot be finished. I'm not finished. Nobody in this out here can be finished. Our resolve has to be stronger. Our pain has to last longer, and our passion has to run deeper. Because this is bigger than you, this is bigger than me. This is about justice, and this is about history. And I guarantee you when it's all said and done, we will be on the right side of justice and the right side of history. Show me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Show me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! next week, but fire it up for next month, the rest of the year, next year and the year after that, for our future, for our children's future. Thank you for being here, and solidarity! Children, both brothers. Making it rain, baby! Yeah. Okay. Make it rain, Scotty! <laughs>
Michael, can I have you go to the G? Just because you're so tall that you're blocking the two? I got a project for the summer you guys are going to be interested in. I found out I can buy a knee, a, 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 I found out I can buy a fiber optic. Uh, uh, Rest. It's always hard in the dark finding where the light, where the switches are. And then they try it, yeah. Yeah, no, you try My it. finger is tiny enough actually to fix most. Your little finger. Then they gave us these pocket change tax cuts, and they said that would jumpstart the economy. None of these things work because you don't jumpstart the economy by cutting people's wages. You do it by educating your people. I saw firsthand what a tremendous resource the UW system was for the people of Wisconsin. I saw the sons and daughters of auto workers and other union members get an affordable, world-class education. I also saw Scott Walker and his cronies use the UW system as a political punching bag. The $300 to cut from UW will do even more damage to the system. Programs will be cut. Campuses may close. Great faculty and staff will either be laid off or leave for other states. Their goal is to privatize that great public resource that is the UW system. It's all the same fight, people. That's right. A tax on unions, tax on UW, tax on K-12 public schools. Yeah. We must resist. Yeah. Many of our elected officials are listening to outside special interest groups that want Wisconsin workers to work for less. We saw that yesterday when lawmakers made up an excuse to walk out on hundreds of workers who were waiting to give testimony about how right to work is wrong for our state. No mother should ever have to be forced to tell their kids they can't preserve passion because they can't afford it. This is what right to work will do for single moms. I was here at the Capitol waiting since 10 a.m. to give testimony when our elected officials decided to undemocratically silence my voice and close the hearing. So I am here today because I will not be silent. That's right. We will not be silent. All of organized labor is under a full-scale attack. And this will end up being one of the darkest chapters in organized labor's history if Wisconsin becomes the 25th state to succumb to the right to work for less law. Right to work is wrong for Wisconsin's economy. A poll taken earlier this week showed that 71% of those polled do not want right to work in Wisconsin. We are a force to be reckoned with. We may not be able to compete financially, but by God, we know how to put on a hell of a get out to vote campaign, and that's what they don't like. That's what they're trying to stop. Wisconsin lets all of these large corporations come into this state, make huge profits, and don't pay a dime in taxes. What's wrong with that? Let me tell you, that's bullshit.
strings that are controlled by Alec. And see the sign out here. And their goal, their goal, their ultimate goal is to eliminate your voice. And that's bullshit. We as a union, brothers and sisters, are the last bulkhead keeping them from total control. And the only way that we're going to stop the right to work laws and the other forms of legislation that hurt the middle class is to stand still. That's right, I said stand still. I think it's about time that we stop the production in this country. Let's stand still. to think that they can have an extraordinary session, ram this through in a couple of days, and we're all going to go home and forget about what happened here. Well, we're not going to forget about this. We're not going to stop fighting. We're going to keep pursuing an agenda of fair wages, a right to organize, and a fair society and try to get Wisconsin back on the right track. That's what we're committed to, right? Right to work backers, they should be focusing on creating good jobs and healthy communities instead of playing political games with unnecessary right to work legislation. What are we doing here? Well, we're here to fight for a better and brighter Wisconsin. A Wisconsin where all workers have the freedom to a family supporting job with decent wages and benefits. A Wisconsin where all workers have a right to form a union. A Wisconsin where all workers can come home safe at the end of a long day's work. A Wisconsin where we are investing and listening to the people. A Wisconsin that fully funds all its educational systems. A Wisconsin where our infrastructure is up to date so that we are able to co compete in a global economy. Yeah. We're fighting for a better Wisconsin. We are fighting for a better tomorrow for our communities and our children. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, above all, be proud of what you are doing here today. We are standing up for our Wisconsin values, for the Wisconsin we love. We are standing up for democracy and the middle class. We are ready for a new day in Wisconsin. Let's keep up the fight. Let's keep the solidarity alive. Together, workers and divisible. Solidarity, unity from one and all.
who like to dress up in fancy outfits, carry arms, and shove people around. That sounds like a bully and that sounds like a coward. You are talking about this little bias that these guys actually future, that we not give up hope. They need to be our stop defunding, degrading, and devaluating what's best about this great state, public education, and hard-working people. I stand before you as a proud teacher and union member, not as a terrorist. for our families. It's wrong for our state and our students. We will not go quietly. Are you fired up and ready to go?
This legislation, which is a lie, that is covered by a thin cloak of a claim of worker freedom. When we remove this cloak and see the bill for what it is, you see the body of labor suffering the death of a thousand cuts, one scab at a time. Are we going to let this happen? No! Speaking of freedom, have you been to your workplace lately? The workplace is the least free environment you can be subjected to in your, life, your adult life. You have a democratic say on how things are done in a non-union shop? No! You're, dic you're subject to the dictates of the boss. True freedom is a collective bargaining agreement. True freedom is a grievance procedure and just cause provisions that protect you from at-will employment. True freedom, true freedom is having a seat at the bargaining table so you can help enjoy the profits that these companies reap. That being said, we're under a no illusion that the majority in the, the assembly is not responsive to their constituents. There will be no surprises when this rotten legislation becomes law. I'd like to encourage all union members to participate in the political process. Make sure you vote. Make sure you make voluntary contributions to your union's political funds. We've got to attack this situation one way or another. The system is corrupt with money. We have to do our part to have our voices heard. Student debt is becoming a barrier to the American dream and a serious drag on the economy. I am one of 40 million people in the United States who is suffering a student loan debt. In fact, the United States has a total of $1.2 trillion in student loan debt. Shame! Shame! This is a terrible time for our band and our universities. Instead of making loans more afford affordable through refinancing and reinstating year-long Pell Grants, Governor Walker wants to cut $300 million from the university system. My only question is, where? Does he plan on laying off thousands of workers? Yes! yes. He's an asshole! I'm not a math expert, but that wouldn't reflect well on his goal to create 250,000 jobs. When Governor Alec and Governor Polk are working together to eliminate the middle class, it is essential that we stand together like we are today in solidarity. They showed off that debate the other day in an undemocratic move, and that is not what Wisconsin democracy looks like. We also can't forget about our governor, because we're going to have to talk to him about not signing this bill, right? You know, he's made the news this week. Can you believe that twice in one week he compared us to a terrorist group called ISIS? Well, he needs a history lesson, because what we are doing here today is the heart and soul of democracy. peaceful assembly to raise our voice for workers' rights. We are an expression of our freedom for speech. We are fighting for a better Wisconsin, a better America, a Wisconsin where workers have dignity and respect and are able to feed their families and provide for their children. To like in you, all you beautiful, peaceful people of ISIS is unacceptable, it's disgusting, and it's disgraceful. So, so I think you all agree with that, and coming together peacefully to protest, to raise your voice for a better Wisconsin, this is not an act of terror, it's called being an American, right? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the path before us is one of educating our members face-to-face, -face, 
one-on-one, -on -one, member to member, so that we can have a strong voice in our workplaces. The path before us is reaching out, building stronger alliances within our communities, within our partners and allies, reaching out to provide a strong voice in our communities. That's what we need to do, that's what we need to do to build power in an era of money corrupting politics, in an era of money hijacking democracy. This, brothers and sisters, this is the way forward. This is the way we must travel. And there's more that unites us than divides us. United together in solidarity, forward, unity, forward, together, forward, in solidarity, one movement, one voice, one people, together, building a better Wisconsin and a better